Lentils are a staple food in India, but they're now beyond the reach of people like Prema. The 47-year-old works as a maid in Delhi and has been hard hit by the Indian government's abrupt move to scrap commonly used currency notes. I asked the vendor to give me some lentils on credit since I just don't have the cash, but he refuses. The situation is really bad. I'm slowly running out of food at home. Many street vendors have no bank account and can only deal in cash. Initially shy about speaking on camera, street vendor Mohammed Nasir tells us he feels helpless. I don't know what to do. People here have no money to buy my products, so I can't buy stock from the market either. It's the end of my business. The sudden demonetization of the 500 and 1,000 rupee notes has led to huge lines outside banks and chaotic scenes in an economy that's overwhelmingly cash-driven. For days, people have been rushing to exchange old notes and get their hands on the new currency. I have young children to feed at home. I just have to get some money today. I've been waiting for hours to get money. It's such a waste of time. I have a lot of other work to take care of. It's causing a lot of inconvenience for the people, but it's only for a short period. In the long run, I think it's a very good reform. Others here in this low-income neighborhood feel the same, despite the hardships. Prema's friend Jugurta suffers from high blood pressure and diabetes and cannot line up to get money. She says she hasn't been able to buy her medicines for a week now. The reform makes sense because it's meant to fight corruption and illegally obtained money, but the poor are suffering the most in the process. Prema heads home, hoping to get some vegetables on credit later in the afternoon. She's worried that if things continue this way, the situation may become desperate. Things will only get better if the prices come down. Everything is so expensive, and at the same time, there's no money. It's causing a lot of problems. If it continues, people like us will have to start skipping meals. Prima still has a wad of old currency notes at home. Until a week ago, that would have ensured her a comfortable life. Now, it's nothing more than junk.